heck is their leader? Let's hurry up and finish this. <laughs> Listen, you ignorant savages, and you shall hear my beautiful name. I am the most graceful member of the six god generals, the one and only Dist the... Why, if it isn't Dist the Runny? The Rose! R-O-S-E Rose! Dist the Rose! You mean Dist the Reaper. Silence! I refuse to accept that name. It's Rose. Rose! What, you know him? I'm in the Oracle Knights too, so... But why do you know him, Colonel? I, the genius Dist, once counted that duplicitous snake Jade amongst my friends. Which Jade is that? I don't know any Jades with such poor taste in friends. What did you say? Ah, uh ah, -uh, careful now. You know how your nose runs when you get mad. Uh, no, it doesn't! This is stupid. They're off in their own little world. Enough of this! Now, hand over the phone disk data. You mean this? <laughs> How careless, Jade. You can have them. I've already memorized their contents. I'm being mocked by savages. When you taste the pain of my super, ultra gorgeous arts, you'll regret what you've done. Let's go! Hey, look. It'll take more than that to kill him. He has the tenacity of a cockroach. Right now, I'm off to check the bridge. I'll go with you. Ladies, please protect Luke and Ion. Hmm? Don't tell me you're afraid of us, guy. Uh, no, of course not. What should we do? Let's check to see if anyone's injured. Yes, you're right. It's not easy being a messenger of peace. You got that right. It is an honor. I am Goldberg, commander of the 1st Division Gimlaska Lanvaldia Royal Forces. Congratulations on your safe return. Yeah. A carrier pigeon arrived with a message from Count Almondine. He said you were traveling with an emissary of peace from the Malkuth Empire. I'm Ion, phone master of the Order of Lorelei. I bear a letter from His Imperial Majesty Emperor Peony the Ninth of the Malkuth Empire. May I ask an audience with His Majesty King Ingebert the Sixth? Of course. General Cecile here will be responsible for escorting you to the castle. Brigadier General Cecile, at your service. 
Is something wrong? Uh, no. Excuse me. I'm Guy, a servant of Luke's. Locrian Sergeant Tyr Grant's 1st Splatoon Oracle Knights Intelligence Division. Ionian Sergeant Annis Tapman, Oracle Knights Phone Master Guard. Colonel Jade Curtis, Commander of the 3rd Division, Malkuth Imperial Forces. I represent His Imperial Majesty. You're THE Jade Curtis? You taught me a painful lesson in our battle in Northern Chesedonia, General Cecile. You must be joking. My forces were virtually wiped out. You're well known as the Emperor's personal confidant, Colonel. If you're here, Malkuth must indeed be serious. Tensions along the border are greater now than at the start of the hot war. We have no choice but to be serious. Correct. Well then, Luke, my Batical Defense Unit will escort you back to your home. Hold on. Ion asked me to speak to Uncle on his behalf. I'm taking him to the castle. Thank you, Luke. I appreciate the support. I'm impressed, Luke. You truly understand your responsibility. Oh, uh, yeah? Understood. In that case, I shall send General Cecile to inform His Grace, Duke Fabre. If you would, General Cecile. Yes, sir. All right, now I'll get my chance to be a hero. All right then, Luke. If you'd show us the way... Right. Let's go. So, this is Batical? What? You're acting like you've never seen it before. I can't help it. I don't remember. Oh, that's right. You've never been outside since you lost your memory. Wow! What a city! It goes straight up! You could fit two or three Chiga Woods in here! Maybe more! The city was built on a depression in the ground, created when a phone stone fell from the sky. Meaning that it's protected by natural walls. That's a logical design. Damn it. It doesn't feel like I've come home at all.
Grand Maestro Mose is currently in an audience with His Majesty. Please wait. Mose is the guy trying to start the war, right? Let's get in there before he gives my uncle any weird ideas. Please, stop! I'm Luke, son of Duke Fabra. Get in my way and I'll have them fire you. Luke, are you sure it's okay to force our way in like this? It'll be fine. The Malkuth Empire is strengthening the defenses in their capital, Grand Kokba. With Engave as their supply base, even Saint Bina has been... How dare you! Who gave you permission to enter the hall? Shut up! Out of my way! Is that you, Luke? Suzanne's son? That's right, Uncle. Ah, I heard what happened. I'm glad to see you back safely from Malkuth. Then the people beside you must be... Phone Master Ion of the Order of Lorelei, and Jade from the Malkuth military. It is an honor to see you again, Your Majesty. I am Ion. Phone Master? We've been looking for you. Mose, let us speak later. Your Majesty, this is Colonel Jade Curtis. He represents His Imperial Majesty, Peony the Ninth. I am honored to be in your presence. I bear an Imperial letter from my Lord, for His Glorious Majesty, King Ingobert VI. Uncle, what Mose is saying is nonsense. I went and saw Malkuth with my own eyes. We didn't get close to the capital, but Engave and St. Bina were completely peaceful. Wh what did you say? I'm merely trying to convey to His Majesty the threat that Mal- Shut up! You're just trying to start a war. I don't even know you, and I'm sick of you already. Luke, calm down. The letter from Malkuth has made it here. I won't ignore it. You all must be tired from your long journey. Please, get some rest. We've prepared rooms in the castle for our emissary guests. Please, allow me to escort you. If I may, I'd love to see Luke's manor. Very well. When your business is finished outside, please return to the castle. Tyr, you stay here. I must hear your report regarding the matter I assigned you. Grand Maestro, it is my responsibility to see that Luke makes it safely to his manor. I will return with my report shortly. Very well. I bid you my leave, Your Majesty. Luke, Suzanne has fallen ill. Mother sick? I've sent Natalia to her side in my place. Please, look after them for me. 